What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be unboxing the new Adidas F50 Elite laced model. I'm not gonna lie, I've been very excited to receive these. Ever since the chameleon colorway was announced, I've just been super excited to get my hands on them because, well, the F50s are back. Before we get into the unboxing, make sure you go down, hit that subscribe button, like the video, I'd very much appreciate it. Like I've said before, these videos can't happen if you don't do those two, one simple thing. So just subscribe, that'd be pretty cool. All right, let's get into it. The actual box itself. is black and it comes, it's literally just a black box. It's got the F50 like slightly imprinted there on the top. You can kind of see it with the glare of the sun. All right, so just off the bat, you can see F50 Elite FG. I got a size 10 and a half US, but without further ado, let's get into it. Okay. These, this is actually really cool because I know the F50s in the past, you had um, not customizable, but you could switch out your insole because they provided you with different ones. These insoles are specifically made for comfort and I think that means they're just a little bit thicker than the ones that actually come in the boot. But you can see here, it just says comfort F50 with the Adidas logo. It's pretty clean, I ain't gonna lie. Um, I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna slide these on um i think i might just to see what the difference between the speed and the comfort ones are um but i can tell you just off the bat i think these just might have a little bit more cushion because comfort <laughs> all right next up my boys again soccer usa okay hopefully it's focusing check them out on instagram TikTok, facebook whatever you guys use these guys are nice. And like always with any high-end boot, we got the bag. I ain't gonna lie, this bag is insane. <laughs> it's just white, blue, red. But I am gonna say the Adidas high-end boot bags, I prefer a lot more than the Nike ones just because, because <clears throat> of the texture. The Nike ones just make too much noise. These probably stain a lot easier, but there's the bag. Nice and clean. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. And the moment I've been waiting for. Oh, you can kind of already see them. It is for you to subscribe. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. All right, let's get into it, let's get into it. Ooh. Okay. That is so clean. And these are obviously the launch colorway, not the tease colorway, so like the chameleon one. And I am gonna say, just from looking at pictures and everything and looking at this in person, I think I'm liking these a lot better than that purple colorway. It's just very, very clean. All right, let's get the other one out so we can get the box out the way. Oh, the natural lighting, it's super dark now. <laughs> okay, let's get this cut off. Nice and clean. Don't wanna risk getting any of the laces cut by just pulling this off. Let's slide these bad boys out. Nice. Ooh, okay. Nice. All right, so it's just from looking down inside on the insole. The insole itself says speed. I don't know if you can really see that, but looking at it on the inside now and having this right next to me, I can tell that the only difference is maybe just, like I said, slightly less cushioning. And there's a couple holes in this one, making it lighter, less material, less weight, I guess, obviously. But all right, just taking a quick look. Ooh. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Personally, uh, I can already say off the bat, these are like my top looking boots right now in my collection. And I only, I mean, I only have like about five pairs. I think this one makes it six or this one might make it five, but just kind of first initial feel. Um, this top part kind of looks and feels almost like a 
like a web texture, if that makes any sense. It, so it looks like a web right there. And you can tell that it's very thin just by feeling it on the inside. But it also kind of gives, uh, I don't want to compare it to these boots because if I'm being honest, they're not really my favorite boots, but the Puma Ultras, um, the Puma Speed Boots, those, okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, I tried those on at the store the other day. I, I'm giving them room to grow, but they just feel plasticky. But this kind of is giving off that feel, but in a more, um, a more intact, textury, better quality material is what I'm gonna say. I really love how on the fiber touch, which is basically like the whole upper, they've like incorporated the F50 on there and the F50 is also a part of the fiber touch and not just a logo on there and have no any extra added value to the actual boot. Um, the bottom, the bottom right here, the sole plate, I am gonna say, it looks almost AG friendly. Um, you guys know that I play on the AG surfaces most of the time and by most of the time, I mean like 90, 80% of the time. Um, but they look AG friendly. They're a little bit circular, but you got that cut off right here. And then these obviously are not circular. Um, <coughs> these studs right here, I love calling them the arrow studs just cause I mean, they look like arrows, come on. It's literally arrows. And then you've got the back linear studs, which I mean, makes sense. That's the way you're running. <laughs> now the sprint web is very interesting. It's like very small, little linear textures that are just grip, but they're small enough to where they don't protrude intensely, but then also big enough to where I feel like they would make a difference. And it looks like it's added all until back here. And then up here, it stops around this area, like around where your toes begin. Um, honestly, that's actually kind of nice. Cause usually like when you're dribbling, you're kind of like going in like this or like passing, you're passing in like that. So that's like literally where it's at. But yeah, they, they look nice. They give a really good aesthetic to the actual boot itself, it kind of gives a, a forward looking vibe to it. And honestly, that's not gonna make you go faster, but it might hit you with the placebo effect and actually make you go faster. Um, laces, yes. I love lace laced boots. Um, I'm not a very big fan of laceless boots and I've never reviewed the laceless boot. Um, that might change in the future, it probably will because as I get, more of you guys to subscribe and more of you guys to like the video, I'll be able to afford some laceless boots because I'm not gonna lie, laceless isn't my thing. That's why I love laced, just cause of lockdown and everything. But got some good amount of laces. It's got an extra hole here. I think I am gonna use that just for that extra lockdown. But the tongue, all right, the, the tongue itself is, really cool in my opinion um if you can see or as you can see it connects it's only connected here at the start and then like halfway towards the end there which is honestly interesting um i guess they did that to kind of give more of a ah what's the word what's the word like obviously more secure feel on your foot um but the texture itself on it is actually pretty cool. They've got these black or these extra lines right here that I feel that gives extra support to the actual um, tongue itself. But I'm actually curious to see how this tongue is gonna do as far as durability. Um, because it does, does feel very flimsy, um, we're gonna see how that feels on the play test, but they have, they've added the F50 logo right there, nice and clean, pretty sleek. The heel area is kind of cool because it goes up a little bit to the higher part of your heel. Um, and you can see there's a bunch of cushion there to help you with the stability. 
Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna do with actually moving around and dribbling, but it seems very, oh, it's very, yeah. Um, oh, it bends this way too, holy cow. I guess, I guess we'll see how, how it does. I like the design, <laughs> if that helps any, but kind of flimsy. All right, but the control frame, as we were talking about, kind of circular studs, kind of not really. And then also it comes back up here, kind of like the crazy fast did, um, but in a more sleek, not insanely aggressive way. Uh, personally, I think I like how this looks better. You guys know I'm not, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Crazy Fast. I might have actually liked the Crazy Fast Plus, so like the laced with the tongue. Um, this kind of reminds me of the Crazy Fast Plus. But these are very clean. And also, we got the Argentina jersey. This is gonna look very fire when I'm on the field with an Argent, with this jersey specifically, or maybe even like a Real Madrid jersey. Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't already, make sure you go down hit that subscribe button, make sure you like the video. And also, like I said, go check out my boys over at Soccer USA OK. OK, C. Soccer USA OK, C. I just saw that, my bad. That's my bad. And let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these boots. Personally, I'm very excited to try these on and stay tuned for next week when the play test video comes out, um, or the like the on feet, out of the box, initial, video comes out um but yeah like subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace fan of the crazy fast but these uh... oh shit no manches Oh, the light's back. <laughs>